every once in a while, a trailer drops, and it doesn't happen often because we all we talk about the news of movies being announced and of this person joining this and all that kind of stuff long before any trailers drop. But every once in a while, a trailer drops where maybe you forgot about it or whatever, but it just kind of came out of nowhere and it makes you drool. Dev Patel's Monkey Man is one of those movies for me. I had, if I had heard about it, I had totally forgotten about it. And out of nowhere, this trailer drops and I just watched it again. And then I watched it again because it looks awesome. Well, they did the debut for Monkey Man at the South by Southwest Film Festival going on. Our friend Scott Mance is down there right now and a few other people. And the first reactions coming out are incredible. Uh, Sean Chandler, who appears on this show from time to time, is down there. He said a two-minute long standing ovation in a packed 1,200-person theater for Monkey Man. Hashtag Dev Patel. Uh, the uh, distracted Tatiana says, I think I've never been as proud of a career trajectory as I am now of Dev Patel's from Skins to Monkey Man. He has created a hard-hitting action masterpiece that in, that in full of pulsating emotion throughout, thank God it's coming to theaters. That's where it should be going. A movie guy writes, Monkey Man, every bit of this movie is earned. A powerful revenge story that goes through the uh, that goes through the gamut of action with powerful force. Dev Patel with a directing debut that rips. Uh, also coming to us from Frederick Nudie who writes, Monkey Man, directed by Dev Patel, is one of the best action movies of our time. His directorial debut, and he absolutely executes it masterfully. Visceral and action-packed with a new style unseen before. People are going to absolutely love this. Talented as hell. And uh, Jay Buck writes, Dev Patel delivers a one-two punch with his directorial debut. A superb blend of uh, meaning story, deep message, twisted comedy, kung fu homages, and badass action. See image below. A bit uneven with its pacing, but you can't deny the guy has a great future ahead. Jeez, God, I don't know what's going <laughs> just, I'm just, and it goes on, and, and it goes on, and, and it goes on. And you know what? South by Southwest is not always the most, I mean, it's not like French audiences, but it's not always the most friendly to films at times, even though it is a wonderful film festival. Uh, sometimes, you know, the, the, the good movie fans, our fellow movie fans down there in Austin, have, uh, have a distinct inside knowledge. They understand film, they appreciate film, but they appreciate good film, and they don't mind telling somebody when they don't think their film's very good. But apparently the reaction to this has been just incredible. And Rob, it's rare when we see a trailer that just blows our minds and then apparently it actually delivers on that promise. I mean, we how many times have we seen amazing trailers and the movie was either okay or pretty good or not good at all? I love hearing what I'm hearing. Is this what you were expecting? Where is this on your anticipation level right now? What do you think? Well, I was talking about this, you know, even on my own channel. Remember, this movie was the movie that Jordan Peele yeah. saw. Mm -hmm. And he's like, he went to BAT. He went to Universal. He has a deal there. He said, look, I want to release this movie theatrically. He put his name down. He put his reputation down. He put his company's reputation down. And he... This is what I like to see in Hollywood, John. People putting their money where their mouth is. People yep. that can see great work. And not only do they support it, they get behind it in ways that Jordan Peele has power now in the industry he didn't have five years ago. And he was utilizing, and not to necessarily benefit himself, but to benefit great art. You know, And I think it, I'd like to think that's the kind of thing we would do if we were in a position of power and saw a great movie and be like, you got to put this out in theaters. And it's exactly what we're talking about. These other... Well, as movies get canceled or taken off a schedule or whatever, you have a filmmaker who didn't have to do this, but he saw something that probably was awesome that he loved and he thought everybody else should love it too. You know, and I, and Dev Patel, who would have thought, you know, first time filmmaker like this coming out with a yarn that as everyone says, rips good on him, man. This is exactly what, we want to be happening. We as film fans, we as fans of, of great cinematic art, we're seeing the, uh, the emergence of a new director, and we're going to win in the theaters. And that's what's so cool. The only person who's not going to win is my friend Steve, whose first Omen movie is coming out on now the same day as this movie. Oh, I didn't know <laughs> so it was on the same day. They're going head-to-head -head at the box office, although I've heard it's good. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, 
Harry's. You know guys, in order to start the John Campia show, I had to leave my high paying corporate job in order to set myself up to be happier and enjoy more personal success. Because sometimes to get what you want, you have to challenge the status quo and blaze your own trail. And that's exactly what the folks at Harry's did. You see at Harry's, they saw customers getting ripped off by questionable products in the shaving industry and decided to do something better. Harry's decided to pave their own road by making beautifully designed razors for a fraction of the price of the other big brands. Except Exceptional products, honest prices. That's Harry's. I have fallen in love with Harry's from their foaming shaving gel that feels just luxurious on the skin to their incredible razor that feels just as good in the hand as it does going over your skin. They've got rich lathering skin softening body wash and scents like redwood, wildlands, and stone. You see, Harry's provides German engineered blades made in their own factory that stay sharp longer. You can get a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover for just three bucks at harrys.com slash campia. Don't settle for the status quo. Blaze your own trail with Harry's. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash campia. That's harrys.com slash campia for a $3 trial set. You know what? I couldn't be happier for a guy like Dev Patel. Dev Patel, I mean, whether it was like Newsroom, which I, by the way, that's that was an underappreciated show. That show was brilliant. Newsroom going all the way back to Slumdog Millionaire, The Green Knight. I mean, he's just a guy who has always carried himself so well. Yeah. Every time he's been given opportunities, he makes the best of those opportunities by really showcasing himself. I had no idea he had the director's itch because uh, he also directs this movie, but um, I'm very excited to see this film. Guys, question is for you. What do you think about the reactions coming out of South by Southwest for Monkey Man? Is this a film that's been on your radar? Maybe you didn't even like the trailer. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.